Do, 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 do. Hello, hello, hair bestie. So I am gonna do a very fun review video on this new cordless blow dryer by Lilux. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Now, this is the first time ever I feel that anyone has ever reached out to me because I've always have to spend my own money purchasing stuff, reviewing stuff, but this company reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to try our cordless blow dryer? I was like, cordless blow dryer? I mean, I bought like a cordless flat iron and you know, all that stuff before in the past, I've reviewed it and I go, well, well, why would I turn it down? Because it sounds cool. I will definitely try it. But they did send me an email back say, hey, I'm just letting you know, guy, that this is not considered like, you know, something you use in the salon. It's more consumer and all that stuff. I said, okay, well, let me test it out. Let me try it, see how I feel, and I will give you the verdict. And I'm gonna test it out so you don't have to. And again, this is not sponsored. Nobody paid me to say what I'm gonna say. Everything is an honest review because I have nothing to gain from it. You know, to me, it's like I wanna play with new stuff because as hair besties, I like to play with new stuff and review it for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at this box. I went online to see the price point of this and I saw it for $189. Right, and I was like, well, that's a pretty good deal if it's cordless, like it says, and you can see what it looks like here. It looks a lot like the shape of the Dyson blow dryer <laughs> to me because you can see how it's shaped here, but obviously, it's not, um, it, it's, it, it's cordless, which makes it different, right? Let's go ahead and open this up here. Before we get started, I need to take a sip of boba some tea because we need it this is from a noble tea i drive all the way to sawtel just to get this it's a strawberry fruit tea if you're in la if you never tried boba before you need to but if you have a good place you want to recommend me leave those comments below oh while you're at it click thumbs up subscribe and comment and follow me on instagram and hit that bell all right all right so this is the base of where you would charge the dryer and here's the dryer itself um, it's slightly uh, heavier than, I guess, the Dyson blow dryer because obviously there's a battery here that you need to hold the blow dryer in. So it makes sense. I don't expect anything that is cordless to be light, um, at least now. I mean, maybe in another 10 or 20 years, but as of now, this is pretty cool for the situation. Now, I'm just going to turn the blow dryer around so you get to see it like 360 see the shape of it and the design. I think this is pretty cool. Um, let's take a closer look at everything. All right, so my thing is, as a hairstylist, I work on set of music videos. I work on set of photo shoots. Sometimes I'm in the desert. Sometimes I'm traveling and all those type of situations. So I look at everything from that perspective as well as a consumer. So, and, and as a hairstylist behind a chair. So there's also this nozzle. You can see here, it's not super narrow, um, but you know, it's a concentrator, so it works. I believe that's the, that's the option that was given inside the box. There's, I don't see any other attachments. That's pretty much it. And it also comes with a sleeve, I guess, where you could put the blow dryer in. So as you travel, so that works. All right, so you can see up close um, the options you have here. So there's a cold shot button. Let me go ahead and see if I can focus here. You can see there's a cold shot button right here and that's a hot, hot button. And this is off. And then right through here, let me put my dirty hands in your face. And it appears to be like two different power of uh, pressure of the air that's flowing. So this is lower and this is higher. So let me see. I have used this only twice so far and I'll explain to you after I turn this on. So let's turn on the lower air pressure. Why isn't it turning on? Oh, is it not charged? Oh my god, I didn't even- oh! Okay, I just didn't know how to turn it on. <laughs> Don't judge me. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay, so this is low. Oh no, that's low. This is high. Okay, let me tell you how I feel about this. I like the flow of the air. It's actually stronger than I originally expected from a cordless blow dryer. Okay, uh, let me feel the heat. 
What I like about it is that, here, I'll just blow dry my hair so you get to see the power. You can see the power of the airflow. It does have very strong airflow. And I was told it lasts for 30 minutes after you charge it. 30 minutes to 45 minutes, you know. Um, I have plugged it in all the way. I've used it to blow dry my own hair. I don't have any problems with it. But the only situation that I feel is that it doesn't get that hot. But there's also a pro to that because I feel like as a consumer, I, I would say I wouldn't want my clients to use such high heat on their hair because it's more color safe if it's not so hot. Because a lot of pro blow dryers Oh, way too hot for consumers to use and they burn off their hair color and I'd rather my clients use something at a lower temperature so I feel like that's the pro in this this is great for consumer use but obviously I don't know if I would use it in the salon to blow out clients all day for 12 hours because of th that whole aspect of it because I need to really round brush the hair but that's from a professional standpoint from a consumer standpoint, however, I like it for my own hair and I also love it for traveling, you know, because I feel that working on set of video, sometimes you don't have an outlet. You don't have, a, you know, some, some place to plug the cords in. So when you're working on set of doing, you know, like a music video for the artist or the model, it's great to be on set to kind of fine tune the hair. So I think this is very, very good for that. And I also love it to blow dry my dog, my Pomeranian dog, who is only two pounds. <laughs> the reason why is because it doesn't get too hot to where it can burn them, but it's hot enough to where it gets them dry. So I definitely, um, I recommend it for that. But remember, I, as a pro hairstylist working behind a chair to do clients, I wouldn't use it for my clients, but I would use it on myself and for um, on location type of shoot. So, um, with that being said, let me know if you have any questions about this. Leave your comments below. I'll go ahead and do this one more time. So, okay, so the air gets sucked up from here. So this is a, a ventilation source here. So it's a lot like the Dyson, if you will. I like it. Personally, you can see the power of the fan, of the, of the wind. Oh, that feels good actually, because it's so hot in here. <laughs> So, and, okay, this is cool, um, you know, if you want to check it out, you can search it, Google it, whatever. Um, I like it, so I'm excited about it. I'm going to sip on tea really, really quick. Okay, we're going to have a conversation. So, a lot has happened this year. So much has happened. And you guys know my dog, Mimi, has passed away on Christmas Eve of 2020. It was the worst night of my life. I shared it on one of my videos and a lot of hair besties might not know about it, but I posted that I got my new dog, who's a Pomeranian. His name is Lychee, and I posted him on my Instagram, and oh boy, oh boy, I got a couple hate messages saying, how could you betray Mimi? How could you get over her so quick? And everybody cope with pain differently. First of all, for those of us who are pet owners, dog owners, uh, the loyalty and the love from a dog is so deep and so true. I love Mimi so much and I cry every single day. I was so depressed when this year first started. Like this whole entire 2021, it, it just didn't start off well. It didn't end well with 2020. I couldn't even function to film videos. I couldn't even do clients. I canceled clients. I cry myself to sleep. It was a nightmare. and. And I realized I need companion. I, it's not about replacing Mimi, but it's about giving love to another pup, furry friend who needs it. And it really helped me deal with a lot of anxiety and depression that I have. Because I have a lot of anxiety and I deal with a lot of emotional stresses. Um, that's just something I never really talk about. But having um, a companion by my side helped me cope and go through with a lot of like anxiety that I naturally have. But I want to share something very, very personal with you because I feel like, you know, we've been through so much 
um, throughout the years on YouTube. So I want to share this with you. I want to talk about Bling Empire really, really quick. But um, after I show you this, because so many of you guys have DM me on Instagram and, and, and TikTok. So I think that this is going to be great to have a conversation about. So I finally got the ashes and the inside the urn for my dog Mimi. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to share it with you. I want you to see because this is so beautiful. This is very personal and important to me. You can see this is her paw and it says Mimi Tang, our little girl. You know, me and my husband, we raised Mimi when we were together. We, he took care of her. He loves Mimi so much. And then I put her in a very special place next to her favorite little stuffed lamb. Um, this is her favorite toy. I, I'm going to insert the picture right here so you get to see how I, I, I tuck Mimi in every night next to this toy lamb because this is um, Mariah Carey's lamb. <laughs> so I named uh, Mimi after the album Emancipation of Mimi back when the album came out in 2005. So that's where Mimi's name came from. So there's not one night I don't think about her and I know that you guys you can totally relate. I know you can relate because th those of you who have a pet know how important a furry friend is. And um, I'd probably say Mimi is closer to me than most humans. <laughs> so thank you for understanding uh, and being a part of this journey with me. Um, we're moving on to a new chapter this year with my um, dog, Lychee, and you're gonna see a lot of Lychee, uh, my Pomeranian, on my hey, video. Hey, so this is Lychee. Look how, look how tiny and pre well, he was really tiny two weeks ago. He got really big. They grow up so fast, but that's Lychee, the Pomeranian, and he actually has an Instagram. We opened up an Instagram for him, and I'll put the link below. So if you want to follow Lychee on Instagram, give him some love. You can. The link will be below. Say, say hi, Lychee. Say hi to all the hair besties in the land. Say hello. <laughs> so, I don't know. He gets these little eye tear stains. If you guys have an answer or a cure or a solution for making the eyes whiter around there, I don't know. Leave your comments below. I don't know what to do. I tried everything. Sometimes it doesn't look as dark around there, but sometimes it does. I don't know. It does whatever it wants to do. But if you have a solution, let me know. All right. So, I've asked a lot of uh, um, hair besties on Instagram about how they like the show Bling Empire. I, so first of all, I'm going to start off with telling you how this journey happened with Bling Empire. So Bling Empire is a show on Netflix and it's one of the first Asian American, well all Asian American casted uh, cast on the show, which I am a part of, so I'm super proud of it. And we filmed it back in 2019 before COVID and everything like that. It was a long journey. A lot of us got together in 2018 before we start, you know, um, we met a lot of the cast members and I know a lot of them as well. I actually know Kevin for a long time and he's actually worked on a lot of my um, campaign projects. He's been on a lot of my videos. Oh, and Being on a reality show, you leave yourself very vulnerable. Everything, who you are, they're gonna film everything. And so it was scary for me. They filmed me working at the office, um, talking about my brand, my identity. They filmed me and my husband together with our most intimate times. They filmed me getting to uh, very personal moments in my life. Now, when we saw the final product, uh, when it released on, I believe, January 15th, uh, 2021 this year, over, I think like over 90% of my scenes weren't even in it. So uh, you only see that 10% scene which is when you see me go into Anna's uh, bathroom and then I found this giant penis pump and now when we go on a show we just have fun it's about having fun being yourself not caring you know and then I got so many DMs where people were so mad at me. They're like, I'm unsubscribing. I'm unfollowing you. How dare you invade Anna's home like that? But people don't see the whole context of everything because a lot of things didn't make it into the final cut. I mean, Anna did some things that you don't see. I did a lot of things you don't see. And people only see you from that one, one clip that was like two minutes. And all of a sudden, the whole world was judging me. I was like, oh my God. You see me on my YouTube channel, you know who I am, but we all have moments. Who I am in different environment is completely different. Like if I'm at the club, 
I'm gonna be twerking. If I'm w with my friends, I'm gonna be having a good time. But when I'm sitting here on my YouTube channel, sharing education and techniques, I'm gonna share and, and be who I am here. And when I'm ha talking to you personally as a friend, I'm talking to you personally as a friend, but when someone see that one little clip of you on Netflix, cause that's the only clip they put of me in there, then all of a sudden you get scrutinized and judged. I said, like, come on, none of this is perfect. You're not perfect, I'm not perfect, everyone around you isn't perfect. We've all done stupid things. And it's just, it was, it was very heartbreaking when I got judged for that, but then I had to realize, you know what? I am immature. And I'm gonna admit it, I'm an immature guy. I've always been immature. If you watch a lot of my old videos, I'm a goofy kid. Even though I'm growing older, I'm in my late 30s, but I'm still immature and I'm okay with that. I like playing video games. I like doing stupid, silly things. I like to joke around. And if people think me being immature is a problem, then I have to realize to myself, I'm not the problem. Like people need to understand to take a joke. And plus when you're being filmed on a reality show, you're just having a good time and let loose because that's what the premise is. You're supposed to be that way. You know, it's supposed to be like, you know, don't hold back. Just do whatever and have fun. And going into that, that's what we're supposed to do. And with that being said, um, I have got like a, a lot of comments where people will be like, oh, we wish we saw more of you on Bling Empire. Why can't we see more of you? How come you only saw a little piece of you? I want to see more of me too. I mean, I wish a lot of people got to see uh, my personal side on a show that didn't make it. Um, but. I was grateful to be a part of it. And the reason why is because it's such a successful Asian American reality show and that's groundbreaking. And that's something we definitely need right now more than ever is to have that evolution, have that movement. And I and there's only enough room for eight episodes in one season. So I know there's room for growth. So hopefully in season two, you get to see more of me. A lot of people all of a sudden stereotype Asians to be like crazy rich, like, like we're born into privilege or whatever the case is, but that's not the case. I work very, very hard. I work 24 seven. I almost lost my sight. I went blind at one point in my life because I overworked. I was over, I was so stressed building the brand. People don't see the hardship that it takes to create a brand. They think like everything is all glitz and glamor. And that's the side of me where I want people to see. I want people to see that like, listen, not all Asian people, ever since this crazy rich Asian movie, everybody stereotype us into like, oh, we're all rich. And, and that's not even the case. There's so many hard workers, like my parents, myself, um, you know, who have lost their restaurant during the pandemic, you know? And th that's a struggle. And that's a struggle a lot of people don't see. And I wish people get to see that side of me that I think would have been very relatable because I've seen so many uh, comments regarding that. So I do want you to know that there's a lot of um, cast members who are like entrepreneurs like myself. Um, and I think that that's really, really important to show. And hopefully we get to show that. But with, with, that, with that being said, the show is amazing. I'm so proud to be on Bling Empire. This is such an amazing show and amazing movement. You know, think positive and and because it's a blessing. Every day being alive is a blessing, and I'm just so happy and grateful to to continue making videos on YouTube and having this community and connect with you. Thank you so much for your love, your support, and this relationship we have. Because I will tell you, 2020 brought light to so many things. I've changed the way I look at so many things and. You know, I take the clients that make me feel good. I have to think about my health first. And I think, I feel like you should do the same. You need to think about your health first because a lot of people think success means money. It's not about how many clients you do or, or how much money you're gonna get from something or it, how much exposure or whatever because life is really precious. Life is very short and time passes by very, very quickly. And with that being said, I learned that success is truly measured by how happy you are. Does it make you happy? You, that's a question you always got to ask yourself. Does it make you happy? If it doesn't make you happy, then you have to rethink where you're going to go, what direction you're going to take. And another thing I want to add is that never ever compare yourself to anyone else on social media because people only show you the, 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 you know, this curated um, aspect of their life. 
Like they look so glamorous and happy, but inside they're all struggling like we are as humans. So don't ever compare because they always show you the, their best selves. And sometimes those images are very edited or photoshopped or whatever to make their you know, imagery look a certain way. So never ever compare yourself. We have to remember that we are all human, that we're all credible. And another situation that I've been going through with that I think is that I want to share with you that this will actually save your life. It will be so important is that as hairstylists, we're very, usually we can be very tunnel vision. We think all we need to focus on is hair, 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 hair. Anything outside of that, we put people in boxes. We put ourselves in boxes. But what has saved my life through 2020 is actually songwriting, writing music, doing something for myself, learning how to play the guitar. It has saved me from depression. And with that being said, I'm super excited on my new album, my new second LP full length album with 22 tracks called 1981. That's the name of my second full length album. I'm so excited about this and it's called 1981 because that's my birth year. That's the year when I was born, the year I was made. I'm so excited about it. The pre-order is going to be available February 14th on iTunes and everywhere. You get to stream everything because it's going to come out the 28th of February, the album. I'm super thrilled about it. And I'm going to wear my 80s jacket. So you guys, we're going to celebrate the 80s. <laughs> I'm going to wear this. So this one is custom made by JW. Actually, let me make sure I get this right because there's a tag here. I'm going to put the link below, but it's Custom made by JWLS Customs. I'll put the link below because they customize awesome denim jackets that look like this. See, 1981. And I love that it has like these big kind of shoulders. It has like these little leopard prints to give it that 80s feel. Little, little tiger prints. See that? You can see in there. It has like a very 80s feel to this jacket, which I love. It's customized. It has a little lug nuts type of things and it has like this lacing in the back let me show you Ooh, oh that's my butt hold on can you guys see this in the back it says more to me that's the name of my first album i don't know if you can see that probably not let me just kind of wait you can't see anything hold on <laughs> this is hard okay actually i'm going to do a model pose for you we're going to have a moment back here i'm going to bring the jacket down I love the corset lace that's in the back. You can see it right there. And if you can see, it says more to me on the shoulders. And Rainbow, the name of my first album. But anyway, yes, I'm going to put the link below so you get to check out my music. I love these shoulders. Look at that. It looks so 80s. How many of you guys are born in the 80s? and love the 80s or just love the 80s period you're gonna love this album because this album is comprised of everything like everything that i've gone through in the last two years i've spent two years working on this album to finally release it i'm super thrilled about it and i work really hard on it so thank you so much for those of you who have given my music so much love and support because it's keeping me alive to do hair Okay, because I've been getting, you know, so many people loving my music and it's changing my life and it's making me work even harder with hair stuff for us. And keep this in mind, you can do everything you dream of. You have this one life to live. Do everything you dream of. Don't be put into a box. If someone tells you to stick to one thing, stick to one, don't listen to them. You got to do you. Trust me, because you have to be happy. If, if, if this is your one time living this life on earth, do you want to just be one thing because that's how everybody sees you? It's not going to make you happy. Trust me. It's, it's, it's about doing everything you can, experiencing everything in life and giving it all you got so you get to live life to the fullest. Anyway, thank you so much for listening and make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them below and definitely check out Bling Empire on Netflix and hopefully we'll get a season two so we'll see a whole lot more of me and my husband and our story and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, even Spotify, Apple Music, anywhere, anywhere you consume music you can download my music. I'll talk to you soon. Love you much. Bye-bye.